What's up, Ghana, Africa, to the world? You don't know when Kivan Official is speaking. This is another episode on Hood Vibes Show. And on this episode, we did uh, Tegbi. I'll be vibing with Fianot Martin, uh, an organizer for Voter Youth Award. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Everything cool. Yeah. yeah. So tell us a bit about yourself, uh, Fianot Martin. Nah. As you know, I'm sure not smart. See your favorite type thing, which is the best organizer. Okay. So, you are the best organizer for Vota Youth Award. Yeah. Tell us a bit about Vota Youth Award. What, 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 what should we know about Vota Youth Award? Vota Youth Award is an um, award scheme which uh, we form to reward the hardworking youth in the region and any other people who are, like, let's say, just a youth in the region who is making more impact in terms of promoting or doing something positive in the region, mm-hmm. in the region to motivate them, encourage them to do more. Okay. Yeah, to and create more uh, role models for the young ones who are coming. So uh, simply, that's what the the award is about. It's about. Yeah. Okay, so what actually separates you from other award schemes? Separate news. Like asking what is so different, what is significance about your work scheme that others you think that others don't have. As I said, this award is for the youth. Okay. All the youth. Okay. Not only for musicians, it's mm-hmm. for all the youth. So if like you are doing something as a youth, you see that tourism, music, dance or anything okay, at all. So like, anything that entertainment and yeah, creative. Yeah, entertainment and creative, yeah. Okay. And also about uh this thing. Our uh, way of organizing and like uh, just in terms of stagecraft and all that way, how mm. we, uh, we discover new people, then those things. So I can proudly say that it's different from other other awards. Yeah, schemes. Our awards schemes, yeah. Which, which which state or which level would you say your award scheme is will be listed in the region? In the region, as I, I can say right now, just at the moment right now we are the. Uh, <laughs> Not not to praise myself, but mm. at the first position, they will, they will be there. At the first position? Yeah. Okay. So, meaning if we should, if uh, anyone outside voter region wants to talk about our scheme in voter region, you should be recognized, voter youth award should be recognized as number one. As number one. As number one. Okay. Like, currently. As, as, yeah, as, 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 as at the moment. How many China. times have we keep you running? Like, how many times? This, which which edition is this? This is the four, uh, fourth edition. Fourth edition. Yeah. Okay. And um, what will win somebody an, a, a nomination? Maybe. What will make me be nominated? To get to get nomination depend on uh, your works or how you push in the year of review. Okay. Yeah. So it depends on like what you are bringing out to the youth or what you are doing to uh, to teach. Or impact. Yeah, or to impact in the region. Okay. So that's we have our ways of like doing some other research you know, to select uh, the qualified ones for the nomination. That's why you can see that sometimes we used to get small filing, but at the end of the day we bring out like just some few of yeah. Them. And few, people few. don't understand that part. Yeah, that is it. So we need uh, we used to do our research about the people before mm-hmm. we select them or we enlist them to the. Maybe Meaning you don't just uh, pick them randomly, you do research about them. Yeah, we do research about them, mm. you don't just pick them. I think that's why people should even understand that you are not picked because there there has been a research done, not mm. that they hate you or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just... Because before you get nomination in any award scheme, I don't know if everybody used to do it, but what I know is before you, used to, uh, you get nomination for any award scheme, it depends on the quality of the work and how the work is doing in the public okay. or in the country or the region. Okay. It depends. Okay, so it depends on so mainly these two things. Yeah. But the other things, things, we have more things, other things to it. the quality sure. and how the thing is doing. Okay. That is the best thing you should look look okay. at. Okay. Yeah. Look before you get a nomination. Yeah. There are there are situations there are situations where people um Say they come to the awards night, be nominated, and uh, after the awards night, they don't go home with their plaque. Have you found? Have you had any situation like that before? Mm, as I can see right now, something similar to happen 
at our first edition. Okay. First edition. That thing uh, happened because of the person who is working on the plaque. Okay. He said he had accidents on the way can so uh, most of the plaque the got broken. Okay. So we need to do it again. So true that the person was not able to deliver the DC. So we delayed before giving it to them, but for the people not taking it at all, they, uh, no. Meaning they had uh, people you people get the plaque. Yes, yeah, you say but, it delays more. Yeah, it delays more because of the accident. You know? So apart from that one till so now, mm-hmm. there is no like addition where the person didn't mm-hmm. take the this thing, the plaque, the plaque. plaque you know? In That's our... why we don't even promise. Okay. You understand? We don't promise like I will give you this, I will give you that. At the end of the day, I'm not able to give you. Okay. Yeah. This is good vibe show. We've been talking to Fiona Martin, uh, organizer for Voter Youth Award. Keep it lucky. I don't go anywhere. We'll be back. It's still good vibe show, and we're talking to Fiona Martin. Yeah, we're yeah. here. Okay, so now let's talk a bit about um, ups and downs in your organization work because this is uh, something you've been doing for some time now. And I think I'm sure you have challenges in this. What are some of the challenges you face? Not just in award, but organizing as in general. No, mm, the organizing in general, uh, let's say to be an event organizer without a sponsorship mm. is like something very big or that is a major challenge mm. in this work. You know? Because if you have to comfort the team like yourself. You do everything yourself without a sponsorship. Sorry. It's very big challenge because mm-hmm. as like let's say my first major program, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know if I told you about this thing mm-hmm. before. The the loss for that program, like at that year or that age for me. If I were to be somebody self, I have to give up. But like I just try uh, keep keep up trying them till now. Mm-hmm. So the biggest challenge for, for being event organizer is is the this thing is the funding yeah the funding getting sponsorship for your this thing and as you can know for this region so before you get sponsorship for any yeah, yeah. event right now it's not easy and the other one is about people perception about you okay. maybe some people they think like you are just deceiving them you are just taking money from them and they are not getting anything and those things like you know many mm-hmm. people they used to talk many things about like being event organizer and the moment you are event organizer everybody thinks you are having it yeah yeah you, you have the money you, yeah you have the money so that is it you have many challenges but i can't just list all okay so that that is the few i can mention for me personally for yourself what what makes you happy about event organizing for me event organizing let's say it's a passion or my dream Okay. So if anything, uh, I'm just happy that I'm doing events. I that learned, one, that one uh, is okay for me. Okay, I learned to start there as a musician. Can't say like that. <laughs> hey, you started as a musician. Mm. So at which point did you get to know, no, music is not for you? I say me, mm. it's not like music is not for me. Okay. Everybody needs to start from somewhere. Mm. The time, like... Uh, you were doing the music, you know, truly before you get a stage to perform, it's not easy. And before you get somebody to do common covers for you, it's not easy. You understand? Even before you get, like, let's say, a recording studio to do your music, then it's this so is it's not easy. So for me personally, like, I have my first demo record, uh, record at uh, Jack Studio at Aflau, and it's the second one at uh, learning beats also at a flower before, okay. but I even get into the stage level and the cover art level, those things are you need to pay. Mm-hmm. Not like this, uh, this time around, everybody is organizing shows, so there are a lot of stages to climb. And those things, so those are the major challenges for me. Then my mind was to get all those things closer to myself before I started doing the music again, um. but trying to get all those things, like I just have to give up and help. <laughs> Or the, that, or that people, yeah. So you, you so you come like Jesus, you come to save uh, the rest. So as as you can see me, there is no way I will be doing events and I was a musician or any artist to pay before performing on the stage. Yeah, okay. 
there is no no way I will, I will say that because those are the challenges for me for you that's why i was not able to like uh, come out as a musician mm. but anyway this one too is okay so as i started uh, organizing events i can see that okay this one is okay for me so far as i can get some people to help with this my my little one i'm doing there is okay. okay so it's not like uh music is not for me okay but i forget it so it's okay so, so you not do it again oh i'll not do it maybe if i get some fun food money I... <laughs> you, you will pass through what? <laughs> <I can't> pass. <laughs> <laughs> okay now let's talk about our skills in voter region i want to know your perception your idea about our skills in voter because there are a lot of our skills if you pass here today our if you pass here today our our do you think voter region do you think we are losing it or it's okay to have a lot of our skills hmm. That question, like me, I don't know. For my side, let's say before we come into existence as a watch organizer or our scheme, let's mm -hmm. say we are having the idea for creating a world in this region. Let's say about uh, three to four to five years or that way, mm -hmm. before we realize there is a scheme in the region as voter music awards. Mm -hmm. So we were having that idea a long time before. And we were planning how to come out with it, how to get money to find it and to do it good. How can you understand? Because for me, what's like, uh, I told you that, uh, let's say, to get a stage and those things, you know, like it's, it was not that easy for the upcoming artists. You know. So as, we were planning for the this thing, uh, the awards team or the events. Mm -hmm. Our aim is to get a stage for the upcoming ones. We not just a stage, but a stage which will make them proud that okay, they also climb a stage okay. similar to these top ones and those things. So mm -hmm. that is but before we realize mm -hmm. that that was when the voter music awards came. So we need to sit down again and think about the whole thing and come up with something unique which will favor everybody in the region so that's why we came with the voter youth award you and from day one till now if you can see our way of organizing the scheme and like the stage everything like is something different mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. different yeah we came to rescue the industry not to take anything and like run away with and those things so that is the uh, biggest thing and before this kind of scheme came into existence in the region like i will not say that there is anything like competition and those things in the region so at least the all scheme they bring some little bit competition mm -hmm. or yeah among the among the creative among the creative, among the creative art industry and right now <clears throat> the industry players all the industry players are taking the list in the work so serious. serious. But in another way, this award scheme is even making people feel more lazy in some ways. Because some people they don't deserve to be like given uh, certain hours. Yeah, to be given certain hours. But the moment they take it, they feel they, they are the food they are the best in the place. But anyway, everybody has their own ways of doing things. So yeah, I don't know what I was talking about somebody's one. <laughs> so about we are uh, our side you know, that's what me like i know okay but for other people you know, like i don't know but what i know is at least the scheme they, they bring or brought some kind of heat into the industry. industry yeah talking of talking of favoritism in voter region or in voter creative art industry do you think we really have favoritism in our, in our industry favoritism in history people people having um love for a particular artist or a particular person so all their support is towards that person so they don't share like other people's craft and other things do you think we have that as put music industry well we have things uh, but i mean i don't see it as a favorite okay so because you, mm -hmm. let's say as for me i know you closely mm -hmm. or i know somebody like so close to me so like you release your this thing i'm not a promoter me i do events so if i post your things it doesn't mean like i'm a promoter or i'm doing something okay. that's not my way so i'm just helping my brother to do his work 
You okay. understand? Okay. So you like you can't be like waiting for me or expecting me to go and pick somebody uh, work from other places or some like I don't know anything about yeah, I don't know anything about that thing, so I would just post it to no me, I don't see that self waiting you. Because I always post on my status that if you want or you want me to share or promote something for you, just send it to me. That's okay, go share this thing for me. I'll do it. You understand? But are you expecting me to pick it on social media to post for you there? I will not do it. And in other way too, there are uh, promoters you know, who like used to do promotion and things for everybody in the region mm. or in the country. Mm. That one too, those people is their work. So at least you contact them that I need promotion. Okay. Then whatever it will take the two of you to do the work, you, you mm-hmm. say it. Mm-hmm. So if the person charge you, it doesn't mean like it's a favoritism. Then those things that is his work. Mm-hmm. You need to buy data or like do anything at all before you be pushing you the anything. So anything you have to consult the person for the work. Something like we are a musician, I'm an event organizer. If I call you for events, at least if you didn't charge me anything, so I have to pay transportation or give you something at least. Before you come to the uh, to to the event, so the same thing. If you are you are coming to like release a song or do or like me myself, I want to do any events right now. I have to see the promoter. Then I give him something small or anything you charge. You need to talk about it. Then like you put it in like the right way to do the, the way. Right way to yeah. Do. This is the first time somebody answered this question where I feel like, yeah, the answer, of course, always people feel like promoters or yeah, bloggers, we bloggers, people who carry camera around, we just like, like some particular people and want to do things oh. for them. It's also a business for some of us, so if we just contact them, the right way uh, will fix them, they'll fix them. Because me there to, to, to make a better industry, the only thing I know is any little thing somebody do for you, you need to appreciate it. Mm. You understand okay. I me? Mean, even if you are my own brother and I'm doing my event, you take part. Mm. Like, just to support me. At least I need to appreciate it. Like, even if I give you money, you refuse to take it. I have to appreciate it in mm. other way. In different ways. Yeah, and that is the thing. So, to grow, like, to, to grow the industry, you, know, you have to make something, like, circulating, at least, if it be a little bit money yourself, you need to be taking it or make it circulating in the region. Okay. At least you get your transportation, you go here, you do your own thing. You understand? Okay. So, so see, let, I, we are talking about uh, uh, money circulating in, this, in our industry. In your opinion, just averagely, not a specific, mm-hmm. how much do you think uh, an organizer have to have to, to organize or put up a, an event in maybe some small place? In small place like mm-hmm. the capacity. The capacity. Okay, let me. Talk. Okay, let's talk about uh, 500 capacity. 500. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 500 is usual. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on like the the events, you know, mm-hmm. and how you want the the thing to be like seen by the audience. Probably. Okay. Yeah, and how you want the people to welcome it for you. Okay. You understand? That is it because at least that 500. Even if you don't spend much ground for this water region, at least ten thousand there you get. You need to spend. Mm. It's like let's say it depends on like the certain program you are doing. Okay. Uh, and even something like that small summit we did the last time. Yeah. Maybe even that one self, it was not easy. Uh, it was okay. not easy. Okay. Since we are talking about the summit, let's talk. About, what? What? Why did you bring up a summit aside the award scheme? Why the summit? Yeah, first of all, what why the summit? <coughs> Firstly, I told you like mm. we coming into existence in the region, we came like to bring some change okay. in the region to appreciate people's talents mm. and like teach them or show them the right way to do some things in okay. the region. Yeah. yeah, that is the thing. So before we do the award, the first edition, the second edition, the third edition. The summit was something like we have been thinking about since they want to now. And I can see that, okay, this is the right time to bring it. Okay. Because we have a lot of people in the region. 
mm-hmm. a lot of youths or the young ones who have a lot of talent and things, they can just come on them like do it. If you don't have anybody to support you, at least you can start on your own. Mm-hmm. Like how I also started on my own. Know. But like I'm not getting that support, so I need to switch to different sites to help uh, yeah, to help others. You know. But it doesn't mean like I'm not getting help from the other side. You know, so I'm doing events right now. So me too, I will not help anybody. No, mm-hmm. I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. So the summit is just to gather the youth or everybody, not the uh, the nominees, no, everybody to teach them or to encourage them how to do their, uh, their like, to bring out their talents. That is it. That's why you can see that we call, uh, we call on some uh, personalities you know, to educate everybody on on the this in the journey, just the entertainment journey. You know. So uh, purpose, the purpose for the summit you know, to educate the app and you know, everybody in the uh, creative arts industry. Should, should we be expecting a summit like that again? Oh yeah, we'll be doing it. We'll be doing and it. we are also hoping for the organ, uh, sorry, uh, sponsorship. Because ah, yeah. as it stands like that, it's not one person team. You understand? We need sponsors to Yeah, help. we need sponsors because it involves a lot of money. money. It involves a lot of money to do. Okay. Before we go, when is the hours night? The hours night, uh, that is 5th November. A venue? At Sashata Oshinji. What is the program uh, lineup like? It's a red carpet. And tell us a bit about how we will go that night. Are we as usual, we'll be starting with the red carpet, mm-hmm. which is 6 p.m. Okay. So it will be using uh, this thing two hours for the red carpet. We are from that uh, eight pm to twelve. We'll okay, be having the main performance and the presentation. Okay. Yeah. So how could we? How can we get tickets? The k- tickets. The just contact the numbers. The numbers on the price. Flyer. Yeah. How 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 much is it going for? It's cool, ten cities and thirty cities. It be cool. Ghana, Ghana, ten cities no be cool now. Ah, it's cool, ah, it's cool. Uh, so, but that cool is ten, ten, yeah, cool yeah. ten cities and because everybody when they can do something for them, everybody mm. for chop, for chop something. They will tell people to they take them uh, their money already. Mm. Those people if they don't take the money, no good mm-hmm. thing. Okay. Yeah, the stage, the sound, everything there. You need to gather something for them. So at least I want us to I want us to clear a. Uh, on one thing before we go an artist let's say an artist is coming for the hours night he has been nominated or is coming to perform on hours night he he the person will be coming in free anyway mm. because he's not going to buy a ticket but how many people can he bring in like how many people will he take in? because sometimes these are issues when it comes to our uh, event and tickets People feel like they want to carry at least go feel like ten people. Mm-hmm. They feel like it being they do no no no. How many people can an artist bring in at a room? I say normally or usually we used to do it the only nominee. Mm-hmm. Only nominee. Sometimes we only give opportunity to the people who will be performing to bring at least two people mm-hmm. along. But this time around we are doing it the nominee, it's their manager or just anybody. Mm-hmm. But just that you need to dress nice okay. or like yeah for the red carpet. For not even for the red carpet to mm-hmm. to make better events or create good industry. You know? mm-hmm. Our appearance and things to the also comes. So not like just to wear any easy wear or slippers or anything, just like you can come to the event or oh, no. Just dress meet with your nominee or your artist, then mm-hmm. you come to the event. So every nominee is uh, is getting a chance to bring one person along. Okay. So any other person who follow those two people, mm-hmm. the person needs to get one ticket. One ticket. It's okay. either the VIP or the regular. That one is depend on them. Okay. So what is your last say something? Your last word to the people before we close the show. My last word to the people is let's take serious mm-hmm. and let's help each other <clears throat> and let's uh support the events and the talent in the region mm-hmm. and for the sponsors or the little companies mm-hmm. in the industry uh, in the region mm-hmm. i'm pleading with them to come on board to help you do these things and like to make the right things 
or to help our brothers to achieve their talents or their goals uh, as a talented one or in the I don't know in the region in the region tell myself in short of words this good vibe show keep it locked and subscribe we out peace